What's up, Tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review of Power, Season 6, Episode 12. So this episode was all about Paz. Who is Paz, you ask? Paz is Angela's sister. Why do we have a whole episode dedicated to Paz? I'm still wondering that myself. So, look. I get grief. I get losing a sibling. But this was so ridiculous. I can't... Let's just go on and jump into this. We start the episode all Paz is having a dream. She's reliving the whole Angela thing and Jamie. She clearly is obsessed with Jamie being the killer of Angela. Okay? We see that she is taking care of her father. Her son is talking about when do I get to go back to school. Remember, Angela was taking care of the whole family. We find out that the father was in a nursing home, but he had to come out the nursing home because they are still holding up Angela's benefits. Now, here's what's ridiculous. Look, this is what I'm going to do. And y'all can get me in the comments all you want. I don't care. This is what I'm going to do because this episode was so damn ridiculous. I'm just going to outline everything or highlight everything that I thought was ridiculous. This was ridiculous. Now, if we're supposed to believe that this is like within the same window of Angela dying, right? So Angela died, this is a couple of weeks later because all of the whole season was supposed to have taken place in like a small window of time. Uh, my boy Chris, I know it could probably tell me if I called him right now. I asked him, I don't remember. But I know this is not supposed to be no long period of time. So what you're, what you're telling me is... And the time it took Angela to pass away, the son can't go back to school, and the father that already got put out the damn daycare, I mean the uh, nursing home, stop. Stop. All that ain't happened that fast, but whatever. So, they are watching the news, and they see that same news report that St. Patrick is now on the Democratic kick ticket to run for lieutenant governor. Of course, Paz loses it. She gets herself together. She goes down to see Sax. Well, we know Sax has got fired. And this is uh, coincided with the same um, time period where Sax sort of snuck into the building and Warner is cussing out security because he's like, how the hell does Sax get in the building? They were like, well, his badge worked. Exactly. Why does his badge still work? We have already talked about how that wouldn't be that wouldn't have happened, but okay. We already talked about that and y'all can go back to the other reviews. Uh go listen to the podcast. We have already hammered that out. But Pause is like, why did Sax get fired? Because of course Sax is supposed to be helping put James St. Patrick in jail. And Warner is like, that's why he got fired. Because he was so focused on this case. He couldn't see past his own nose. So, Warner ends up talking to Paz a little bit and basically letting Paz know, look, you know, it ain't going to happen. So, Paz leaves there and goes to Tasha. Her and Tasha go back and forth. And basically, Tasha's letting her know, look, James won, that's it. You know, he's too good. He He's not going to go to jail for killing Angela. Just let it go. Yeah, I'm... Then we got Warner talking to old boy that Angela got the job down in uh, Washington. I don't even remember the dude's name. It's not important. But basically, he's trying to get dirt on Sax because he... Now, he's fixated on making sure that Sax goes to jail. Y'all see that? Y'all see this obsession? You see, you see what we're doing here? Paz is obsessed with Jamie, a.k.a. Ghost. Warner is now obsessed with Sax. Sax is obsessed with Jamie. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. This needs to be called obsession. Now, then we have, um, and basically he told the dude, look, all I know is that he was obsessed and he said that he had some witnesses and what, and you know what's funny? Warner did bring up a point. Warner was like, Everybody that agrees to work with Sax ends up dead. Except for Sax. (sighs) 
So then Sax then she goes to Sax's apartment. How she knows where Sax lives, I don't know. But she found him. I guess she Googled him. I don't know what the fuck she did. Shows up at his apartment. First of all, how everybody knows where Sax lives. Did he put it on like did he post it on on, on Facebook or something? Because everybody had been to Sax's apartment, but whatever. He asked Sax, I mean, Sax tries to tell Paz, look, Jamie didn't do it. The autopsy showed that he did not kill Angela. You're going to have to just let it go. Well, in her mind, it doesn't matter if he pulled the trigger or not. He's still responsible for my sister dying. He's still responsible for my sister getting killed. I'm sorry. But of course, at this point, Paz has just convinced herself that it doesn't matter that he pulled the trigger or not. He killed my sister. Okay. So then Paz goes back to Warner. Because she's talking to the son, and the son is like, look, Ma, what's good? You know... Jamie can't get away with this, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, this is going to be a shitty-ass review. I'm telling y'all now because this episode was just shitty. Um, Pause is like, don't worry. I'm going to make sure that Jamie pays. And so she ends up going back down to Warner, and she basically tells Warner, look, I can, I can prove that James was dirty, but it's going to also implicate my sister. And so Warner is like, look, be, make sure you want to do this because if we go down this road, your sister potentially could lose everything. Lose her bit, her pension, lose her reputation, lose her, you know, her honors, all of that just to put James in jail. After you done already found out the man didn't shoot your sister. Now, this is after you, all this is happening now. You already now know that he did not shoot your sister. Your sister was a grown-ass woman that decided to have an affair with a grown-ass man. And, yeah, she might not have known he was married when they started the relationship, but she knew they was married 90% of the time she was dealing with this dude, okay? So, let's be clear. Then, they exhumed the body. I've never seen a body get exhumed in that short a period of time. I don't give a damn if you're the FBI or not. Her body was exhumed in less than a day. So, of course, they find the cell phone because she told them where the cell phone was. She finds the cell phone. They're able to, they're only able to recover the text messages that her outgoing messages, nothing incoming because the SIM card has been destroyed or it's been corrupted. So with this whole exercise of exhuming your sister's body, all you've been able to prove is that your sister was dirty, not anybody else. You can't prove who you who she sent any of these messages to. Now, at some point during the episode, Paz got the gun and was following James like she was going to shoot him in broad daylight on 5th Avenue in New York City. Whatever. Of course, she chickens out. She can't do it. Boom. Um, then she says, well, let me wear a wire. I'll wear a wire. I'll prove that he did it. Let me wear a wire. I can get him to confess. Warner lets her wear a damn wire. And that's the scene that we see where she goes in the club and she says, I know you didn't kill my sister, but... Just tell me who did. And he's like, yeah, I can't do that. Of course, Saint, I mean, of course, James is not going to say anything to incriminate himself, regardless of whether he thought she was wearing a wire or not. He's not going to confess to her a damn thing. If he ain't confessed now, well, he didn't do it. But if he ain't confessed by now, he wasn't going to confess. So, of course, she doesn't get the confession. She leaves. 
And Warner is like, you know, it was a long shot, but basically all you've been able to prove is that your sister was dirty, so you pretty much have lost your benefits. So now, the main thing that we started this episode off with, as far as your father and your son needing the money, like, to me, deal with the revenge later. Take care of the money first, but who the hell am I? So then she leaves there, and she gets a phone call to come down to the hospital, the son, now they hadn't told the father that Angela was dead because the father has dementia or what have you. And she was like, look, there's no need for me to tell him because he ain't going to remember tomorrow. And that means I have to keep reliving it. And I'm not, I can't do that. So we, you know, don't, ain't no need to tell dad what up. So of course the son tells him. Why the son told him, I don't know. But the son told him, the man ends up having a panic attack. Now he's in the hospital. Now they down to the hospital arguing. And the son is like, look, am I going to be able to go back to school next semester or what? Let me tell you what you go do, little boy. You go and you get a student loan just like everybody else. Yeah, you can go back to school. You can go back to school next semester. You go fill out that goddamn student loan. Do what everybody else did, little brat. He was getting on my nerves this whole episode because everything out of his mouth was, so am I going to get to go to school or what? Am I going to get to go to school? I ain't heard. So... Pause leaves the, the hospital and she decides that she's going to go. Let me make sure. Yeah, she went to Tommy. She going to tell. This was the funniest scene of the whole episode. She going to tell Tommy, I need you to kill the person. I need you to kill the person who killed my sister. Tommy going to say, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, because it's him, dummy. So, she ends up basically offering money to Tommy, offering this to Tommy, offering that to Tommy, trying to get Tommy to do it. And Tommy is like, yeah, Paz, get up out of here. Ain't nobody killing nobody. I'm going to need you to go. Because remember, Tommy got other stuff going on. I mean, first of all, he ain't dealing with Paz anyway. But remember, Tommy got other shit going on too. So, he's like, look. And then he finally going to say to her, look, I'm going to need you to get up out of here before I call the police. And you know good and damn well, Tommy must have been real desperate to get her up out of there if he threatened to call the police. Okay? Somewhere in this, she ran into Blanca. Blanca told her it's over that, you know, the judge won't approve the, 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 the um, arrest warrant and it's a wrap. They not going to be able to do anything. So then she goes back to Tasha where she tells Tasha it's over. And Tasha's like, uh, duh, I told you none of what you thought you was going to do was going to work. She said, basically, there's really only one thing that we could do to get rid of James. And they kind of give each other that, you know, so you going to do it or am I going to do it? You know what I mean? They kind of gave each other that look. But So then she leaves. Look, if I'm skipping over stuff, it is what it is. Y'all fill in the blanks. I don't know. So then we see the Democratic Party done came down to see Warner and was like, look, bruh, whatever you think you're doing with St. Patrick, it's a wrap. It's over. It's done. Like, this is case closed. You exhuming bodies and stuff for what reason? James St. Patrick belongs to the Democratic Party now. And because of that, he has our protection. They wrote up in there like they was the mafia or something. Talking about he's protected. You, he a made man now. You know what I mean? Like, that's how they rolled up. He's a made man. And Warner was like, yeah, right, whatever. I'm going to do what I do when I do and how I do it. And if I want St. Patrick, I'm going to get St. Patrick. And dude was like, don't you want to run for office one day? So my suggestion is... If you want the same protection that James is getting when it's time for you to run, you're going to fall back. What does Wanna do? The exact opposite. He takes that because Blanco tried to show, Blanco, whatever, tried to show him this little confession that Dre did. And Wanna was like, this ain't shit. Like, we know this is a lie, honey. He done took that, that confession from Dre, knowing it was a lie, and went to the judge and got the judge to sign off on a warrant to arrest St. Patrick, right? Okay, so we got that. Junior, Paz comes, by this time, Paz and ran all around New York, up, down, in and out. She's exhausted. She's hurt. She's tired. She comes home. She puts a, a, a bankroll of money on the table. That's the money that she was trying to pay Tommy to kill uh, Angela's killer. And the gun on um, on her on her dresser, and she passes out, goes to sleep. She cries herself to sleep. When she wakes up, the gun is gone. 
Who stole the gun? Junior. She ends up running Junior down, taking the gun from Junior, telling Junior to go home. Then she, they were right outside of Truth. So she goes into Truth like she really about to kill Jamie, right? She runs into um, Althea. Shouts out to Paris, the boss, from uh, the podcast. If you want to get that inside joke, you got to go listen to the podcast. But she runs into Althea in the um, daggone bathroom. I know that. Anyway. And she was like, "Why? what is it that you see in Jamie? You don't know who he really is. You don't really know what you're getting yourself into. My sister thought she could handle him, and she couldn't. And look at where my sister is now. And this woman going to say, some people just can't be stopped. It was such a, like, line. It was so out of place and so stupid. <sighs> So she walks all around the club following Jamie like she was going to shoot this dude in the middle of the damn club, in the middle of this big-ass political party. Like, right, that's what we thought. She, anyway, she ends up leaving and going home. We know what ends up happening. St. Patrick, you know, Jamie, um, uh, what's his name? Ghost, Jamie, St. Patrick, whatever. He ends up getting shot. Well, she went to visit her father. Her father basically told her, look, you good. You always were my special one. I know that you, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, they had a little moment. She goes home and goes to sleep. That's, again, that's the night that Jamie got shot. So we know it ain't pa Paz. Not that any of us thought it was her. I don't know anybody who thought it was Paz. But okay. We know it ain't Paz. Junior was like, you sure you ain't, you told me you didn't kill him. She was like, I did. I was right here with you. They get a call from the lawyer. Again, now I'm not rich people, but I ain't never seen a will executed that fast before. The man ain't been dead 24 hours. Like it ain't even been 12 hours when she gets this phone call. Like literally they were still getting the newscast. The information, the news was reporting, and the lawyer didn't call her to come down because they executing his will. I've never seen no shit like that. Again, I ain't rich people. I've had wills and situations with family members that had wills. It ain't never moved this fast. But okay. All right. She goes down there, and Ghost had updated his will. So instead of leaving money to Angela, he left the money to Paz. Paz was like, I don't want his money. I don't need him. Yes, you do. You need him because your your father is living in the middle of your damn living room and your son keeps talking about going back to school. You need that money if you don't take that damn check. And, the, you know, the lawyer was like, no, I really think you should take it. And she wouldn't take it. Now, as she leaving, she runs into Tasha. Tasha was like, oh, I don't believe this. He done left money to Angela. Paz was like, nah, he left it to me. Angela gonna tell her, I want you to take the money. You take the money. You know you need it. You take that money. Now, she wasn't telling no lies. Paz did need to take the damn money. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, why are you so pressed for her to take the money? Like, that would be more money for you, right? Since the daycare ain't working, the empty daycare. Child. Especially since you got Angela's pension snatch like they was already on the, the tinkering over giving her the pension you didn't let them exhume the body to prove your sister was a damn snitch i mean a, a crook a criminal and 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 so she took the damn money y'all she eventually took the money okay she took the money then we see tasha done told pause tommy killed angela so now Paz is running back in her mind all the, the all the signs that would have pointed towards Tommy. Tasha said, yeah. Like, Ta Tommy, you know, she gave her the short version of the story. Tommy wanted to hurt ghosts, and he knew that the only way to hurt ghosts was to kill her. And that's what he did. So Paz going to get the money to um, her son. Tell me, I'll meet you back at the house. I got something to take care of. So, of course, she runs back to Tommy's apartment to kill Tommy. She banging on the door. Tommy don't answer the door. She goes to turn the knob. His door is unlocked. See, again, that is a clear indication that you probably shouldn't walk in the door. Somebody's apartment door is unlocked, but they ain't answering the door. She goes up in Tommy's apartment. It is clean, stripped, like 
Ain't nobody lived there in six months clean. Now, mind you, he had just been there the night before. Tommy is gone. The only other silver lining to this whole thing was that Warner, the uh, mafioso dude from the Democratic Party, came back to Warner's office and was like, I thought we told you to leave this alone. And he was like, well, what are you talking about? And he tried to throw it at him, talking about some sort of Democratic Party supports criminals now. They hire criminals. He was like, the fact that um, St. Patrick is dead should prove the point that he was a criminal. He was like, yeah, but that wasn't your call. We told you to stay away from it, and you didn't, so that's on you. He talking about some whatever. You you know, um, the FBI don't have nothing to do with my job. You can't, you, can't, um, you can't fire me, so get out of my office. He was like, oh, that call is on its way. One of us like, whatever, get out of my office. Why the phone ring? Dude was like, yeah, that's that call right there. You might want to go ahead and pack up your office. Y'all, that's an hour I just can't get back. Y'all let me know. If y'all liked it, tell me y'all liked it. But I thought that was the dumbest episode out of this whole series. I don't care. That's the dumbest damn episode. It was stupid. Paz did not need no whole episode dedicated to her. There was nothing in this episode. Y'all let me know what y'all think in them comments.